Hey fam, it's your girl Nell, back again with another video. And today I have some special guests here. I have Mama Nell and Grandparents Nell. Um, would you guys like to introduce yourself? Charmaine. Okay. Dorette, the grandmother of Chanel. Mm-hmm. Nice. And so today, if you didn't guess already, today's video is gonna be all about Jamaica. So in this video, we're just gonna go over some fun facts and hopefully you learned something that you didn't learn before. Okay, so let's get started. So August 1st, 1834 was the day that Jamaica received its emancipation um, from slavery. And then August 6th, 1962 was the day that Jamaica received its independence. Does anybody remember what that was like growing up to see Jamaica get its independence? Because that wasn't too well, it was really a great celebration, and we sing and clap and dance and enjoy ourselves to know that we are independent. Right. I was not born. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so um, we have like our Jamaican flags here, and we're just going to talk about some of the significance um, of the Jamaican flag. So the color green, does anybody know what that represents? the land okay and then like the yellow is the sunshine of course and then the black the people that they are strong and creative okay cool Which so black is strength that's right that's right and so um i'm gonna like quiz you guys a little bit so does anybody remember the national dish the national dish of jamaica is okay. ackee and sausage okay does anybody remember the national anthem can you sing it for the people I will say it, not sing it. <laughs> okay. Eternal Father, bless our land. Guide us with thy mighty hand. Teach Be us free Jesus. from evil powers. Be our light through countless hours. To our leaders, great defender. Grant true wisdom from above. Justice, peace. Jamaica land we love. Okay. Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica land we love. Do you know the second part? Mm. Teach us true respect for all. Stare response to duty call. <laughs> Strengthen us the weak to cherish. Give us wisdom lest we perish. That's right. Knowledge sent heavenly Father. Grant you wisdom from above. Justice, truth be us forever. Jamaica. Jamaica land we love. Yay! So I know that some people at the end, like, where they be like, boom. Can you tell us, like, what that means? Jamaica, boom. Jamaica, boom. Jamaica land we love. But that's really no boom. It's just the sound of the drum, right? Exactly. Right, right. Do you guys remember the National Pledge? Do you remember it? Yes. What is it? It says, before God and all mankind, I pledge the loyalty. <laughs> it's been a while, okay? Okay, that's fine. Before God and all mankind, I pledge the love and loyalty of my heart, the wisdom and courage of my mind, the strength and vigor of my body in the service of my fellow citizens. I promise to stand up for justice, brotherhood, and peace. To work diligently and creatively, to think generously and honestly, so that Jamaica may be under God, increase in beauty, fellowship, and prosperity, and play our part in advancing the welfare of the whole human race. Grandpa, do you remember the Jamaican motto? Mm -hmm. Oh God, out of <laughs> many one people. That's right. <laughs> oh God. So. Amen. So Jamaica is comprised of like these different places and I know a lot of people they know about Kingston and like no people. Jamaica is comprised of three yeah, counties. Yeah, I'm going to have It is Cornwall, Middlesex and Surrey. All right. Not different places. We have three counties in Jamaica and they are comprised of Cornwall, Middlesex and Surrey. Do you know the different Yes, in, in, in Cornwall, which I'm from, which is St. James, we have um, Anover, St. Elizabeth, St. James, Trelawney, and Westmoreland. You really didn't know what's in Middlesex? 
Queen Middlesex, you have Clarendon, Manchester, St. Anne, St. Catherine, and St. Mary. Surrey, you have Kingston, Portland, St. Andrew, and St. Thomas. Okay. Granny, where are you from? St. James. Grandpa, where are you from? St. James. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, Granny, do you want to tell us what the national language is working? Hot one. <laughs> okay, so, now a lot of people, mm -hmm. you said we speak English? Yeah, we speak English. So a lot of people, every time, like, uh, you know, Jamaicans are speaking, they're like, what are y'all saying? What are y'all saying? I don't understand what y'all saying. So I have some few phrases here that um, I would like you guys to help dissect for people. So the first one, Grandpa, can you tell us what it means when people say, smile up yourself? Yeah. Small up yourself. Small up yourself. Mm-hmm. And that means that instead of small up yourself. Small up yourself. Yeah, come up together. Come up together. Yeah, like, small up yourself. Like this. If you're sitting together, there's yeah. a small up yourself to just join up together. Right. Granny, can you tell us what it means when people say little more? Little more. Mm -hmm. Wait. Right. So can you tell us what it means when people say everything iry? Everything is good. Okay, okay. What does it mean when people say blouse and skirts? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a nice word. It's a bad word. No, that's not that's really that bad word. So what does it mean when mm -hmm. people call you their bonanus? Oh, that means that that's what. You're my bonanus. You're my sweetheart. You're my darling. You're my lover. You're my lover. You're my bonanus. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Granny, what does it mean when somebody says you're a pretty dunce? Yeah. <laughs> you're a pretty dunce, you don't have education. <laughs> you don't have a pretty face, but not, not in up here, not in here. You're not, you're not book smart, you're a pretty dunce. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Kitty Rumpus. Oh, Kitty too. Rumpus time is that we're going to have a lit. Um, it's lit? Of course, a marvelous time. <laughs> Kitty Rumpus. We're going to have a fun time. Granny, what is brought up, see? What is brought up, see? Mm -hmm. When people say you don't have any brought up, see, that means you don't have no manners. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you don't have no brought up, see, you never, you know, no manners. So, if somebody says something, somebody, like, has something, and then somebody else wants it, but you're like, no, after me. It's, it is mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. After me. Not it's, yours. It's not yours, it's mine. It's after me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Granny, what does it mean when people say we little but we taller? That means that we are small but in power, we are big in power. That's right. I know you always like say this little one, but you could explain to the people what it means. So you always say like. Pig said to his mama, by and by you will see. Or the, the mother said to the mama. Oh, pig said to the mama. Mama said, by and by you will see. So what does that, that mean? That simply means that sometime you're going down a path and you not taking heed until something happened. And they said, pig said to the mama, by and by you will see. So maybe you, um, you will get yourself into a situation. Your parents have been warning you not to go down to that avenue and you still go there and something happened. That's what it meant. So Granny, what does it mean when people say, um, who don't hear will feel? That if your parent is talking, <coughs> talking to you and they don't listen. Mm. You, you, you're listening and later on you feel it. How but are they gonna feel it? Well, because they go the wrong way and then they understand at the time. Okay, okay, so the last one here, Okay, we'll give it to Granny. Okay, so if someone says, like, if, like, your family or your parents say it to you, like, you can lead the horse to the water, but you can't force them to drink, what does that mean? Like, if your, your parents is talking to you and you don't listen, you know, that means, you know, that's, that's what it means. You lead him to the water and you take it, you don't drink. Okay. So... Besides like jerk pork, jerk chicken, curry goat, curry chicken, you know, oxtails, rice and peas, 
There are so many different cultural foods that you can find in Jamaica. And so um, right now, if you haven't, you know, been to Jamaica, we're going to take you on a cultural experience to Jamaica through food. And so um, I'm going to, you know, list off some foods and you guys can like explain to the people like what these foods are, how would you describe them, their taste and stuff like that. So we talked about the national dish being Aki and saltfish. So can, does somebody want to like describe like what that is? How does that taste? Is it salty, sweet? Like what is it? So Aki is a fruit that grows on the tree. Mm -hmm. And it's said to be, um, when it's ripe, it just pops out and it has three seeds, three back seeds. That's when it's nice to eat. And you could season your, your um, there are two type of Aki. You have the butter Aki and you have the cheese Aki. So the, the cheese ackee, as the, as the name mentioned, it's hard. And the butter one, it's so soft. So for the butter for the butter ackee, what you will do is to like boil your water, just throw it in and it will cook real quick and take it out. But for the cheese, you have to keep on cooking and cooking till it comes to perfection. So that when your ackee is cooked, now you're gonna season your ackee with your scallion, your onion, whatever spice you like, and you just throw in your saltfish. And that's a nice dish to go with your fried dumplings. <laughs> And roast breadfruit. Yes, and roast breadfruit too. Yeah. So, how would you describe bami? Bami is a um, fruit that grow in the ground, mm -hmm. and after you reap it, um, you dug it up, and then you take, you put it into a thing that they call cutter cup, and press out that water. And after the water is pressed out all together, then you roll it up, and then you rub it out, and then you bake it into a round. It, it's almost like pancake. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then you bake it like that, and it's very nice. So, how would you describe like kalalu? Oh, kalalu is like color green. It's something that's very good. You go in the field and you reap it, and then you cut it in small pieces, like just like you do the color green, and let it cook. And after it's cooked, you season it with your onion and tomato, and a little salt and pepper, and then you get it together. It's very nice. And kalalu also goes nice with your steamed fish. You can stuff that and roast kalalu and steamed fish. I love that. What about cocoa bread? Oh, cocoa bread is just like, it's a pastry. It's a bread. As the name says, cocoa bread. It's just shaped like a cocoa. It's a bread. It's nice to go with your patty. So what's the difference between cocoa bread and hardo bread? Okay, the cocoa bread is, um the hardo bread, as I said, hardo is a long That's a different. bread. And the cocoa bread is something like it's like a pita pat, just round, and you eat that with like a patty, or you can eat cocoa bread and cheese, or you can enjoy it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what about cow foot? How would you describe that? What cow foot? Cow feet? Cow foot? Yeah, cow oh. Feet. oh, well, cow foot is up from the cow, and then um, it's very delicious. Preparing it, you cut it in small pieces and you clean it up, wash it very nice, and drain it. And afterward, you um, let it cook down into like a pastry, like cook down. Mm -hmm. And that then you it season too? it. You season that and then get it together, and it's good with white rice. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Do you know that the water from the cow feet can also make us a jello? What? The water from the cow feet. It makes that, jello? Yeah, that water that first cook, you just throw up that first set of water and you set it. And it's it's just like jello. You it's it's come really mm -hmm. come together like jello. You know what? Oh wow! I don't yeah. know that. Yeah. So yeah. and the the cow feet also goes with beans. So can you describe the difference between like um, fried fish, the difference between fried fish, escovitch fish, stew fish, and then steam fish? Does anybody know the difference between all four? Escovitch fried fish, stewed fish, and steamed fish. Yeah. So the escovitch fish is like, you fry your fish real dry. And when you're gonna escovitch it, you're going to have your, um, a little tip of vinegar, you have mm -hmm. your escalion, mm -hmm. your pepper, mm -hmm. and your carrot. Mm -hmm. And whatever, you just put it over mm -hmm. it and steam it. For the steamed fish, you just steam fish with, with steam fish with crackers. We mm -hmm. Jamaica love our steamed fish with crackers. Yes, and the stew, you just chew that with your okra. Okay, so what about versus, like, somebody was like, oh, I want some fried fish or something like that. 
it's when they say fry fish, then you just like um, mm. they fry the fish real dry. Real dry, and then after you fry it real dry, you put the scabbish and like the onion and the scallion and the vinegar. The carrots. And, 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 and the pepper. And just pour it over it. Okay. And let it stay for a few minutes. That's excavating. So what is green banana? Green banana is a tick that go on tree. Just like the ripe one, but we love to eat in Jamaica. The green banana we have it for breakfast in the morning. It's you, you take it out of the skin and boil it, and we have it with our callaloo and sauce. It's very good. So, how would you describe the difference between green banana and like plantain? Uh, it's from the same. It's from the same family. It's the same family. It's the same family, but same two family. different stuff. So, plantain. Okay. Plantain is um much. The um the structure is much bigger than the bananas. It's much bigger. And it's and it the, the, the structure, the the taste and everything it's much it's much different. But they are from the same family. So Granny, what is the difference between okay, first of all, what are the different ways that you can have dumpling? What's the difference you can have dumpling? Okay. Dumpling you can have it boiled and you can have it fried. Fried dumpling is you, you knead up your flour. You could take a spoon and mix it around till it comes together and then you rub it out and then you break it in pieces and roll it in your hand and throw it in hot oil and it come out real nice. It's, and the one that um, the boiled one now, you cook it as as food. Mm -hmm. You know, you like you make um soup and things like that. You mm -hmm. put a little dumpling and thing in there, we call those spinners. Okay. So what's the difference between dumpling? Festival and then Johnny Cake. Okay, festival is that thing when you call it. When I used to go to school, I used to say to this lady, <laughs> Mrs. Silaga, one atty, one patty, one. <laughs> <laughs> one patty, one atty, one long, long, Mrs. C, one patty. Oh, one. <laughs> so that's the festival. She just rub it up and you just call it long, long. <laughs> festival and well, that used to be my lunch at school one party one achi one long one when i call achi achi is like something like a johnny cake and they say one party so she shaped it like a party so i would have at lunch i would have one party one lap one party one achi one long long that's all we used to call it for one party one achi one long long that used to be my lunch at school is if somebody says oh i want a rock one what about a rock bun? Okay, rock bun is a thing that we bake from flour. You get your flour together and mix it up and put your spices in there and bake it. Mm -hmm. That's it's different from um, the dumpling. Is that a dessert, rock bun? No, you, get, you could call it a dessert. Yeah. Okay. Rock bun is like scone. When I used to go to school and um, <laughs> and I used to love home economics and that's one of the things what I love to bake and it's rock bun. It's just flour and um, the coconut, the coconut, um, what you call it, the coconut flakes and you put your spice and everything in and we call it it's like i don't know why they call it a rock bun but it's very very it's delicious. like hard it kind yeah. of like a rock it's like a no not as raw, hard as a rock but it's like a scone okay what is like coconut drops oh coconut drop is like um you get your coconut together in small pieces then you wash it out and then you put it on the fire and you turn your sugar in there and let it cook down and after it cook down for a certain time you take it and drop it out and that's what we call it. What is the difference between like ginger beer and ting? Ginger beer and ting. Mm -hmm. So ting is a grapefruit drink mm -hmm. and it's like you just ferment the grapefruit and that's the thing. The ginger beer is, your, is the same thing, you ferment that ginger and you boil it down and you have your ginger beer. So Very nice. The difference between like sour sap and like sorrel. Oh, so, oh, I love my sorrel. Sorrel we have at Christmas time. You could have the, the red sorrel or the white sorrel and you'll just like draw that with your ginger and that's like, it can serve all year round, but especially at Christmas time. Uh, here we can get sorrel at Joe's Market, the dry one. But like in Jamaica when I was living there, we got the sorrel fresh picked from the farm. So what is sour sap? The sour sap, oh I love sour That's sap. So good. Sour sap juice is so nice. It's the um, 
it's from the sweet sour sup or sweet sup sour sup is the one that we take juice it's that big green fruit and it has a very rough edge inside is the white pulse we're going to pull them out and if you're going to blend them or puree them to cup to the um to the juice and you mix that with your sweet milk or you call it cannon's milk i don't know about you guys but we're getting hungry over here talking about all this food and drink oh my god you know what <laughs> especially in love in the morning we can make some nice porridge Oh, part, different type of porridge. You have peanut porridge. You ever heard of peanut no. porridge? You have cornmeal porridge. Okay. Oats porridge. You can take anything. Banana porridge. Blanding when porridge. I I used to see my um grandmother make a thing they called arrowroot porridge. That the one they used to give to the babies when they before they like before they stop as soon as they stop suck the breast they put them on. Bird name? They call it arrowroot porridge. Okay. It's it's very it's very nice and it has um very rich in vitamins and the different nutrients. Okay. That's what the mothers used to feed the children on in Jamaica. If it's not common porridge, it's our root porridge. <laughs> and our root is something that grows in the herd. Is just like here how you have your yuta, which we call cassava, yeah. or etc. That's why you go to our root, you grate it, and you take that. Even barley can make porridge. You ever heard really? of Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Moving on. So everybody knows about like Bar Marley. Everybody knows like Vibes Cartel. Everybody knows like Usain Bolt, you know, Shillian Fraser Price, you know, Sean Paul, la, 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 la. But nobody really knows like the heroes and the one heroine of Jamaica. So if you can name them, I could tell you about them. Do you know who these people are? Sure. sure. Name them. Paul Bogan, Marcus Garvey, George, William Gardner, you have Norman Manley, you have Sam Sharp, you have Al, um, Alexander Bustamante, and the, and, and the era in is um, Nanny. Nanny after Nanny Maroon. You know Nanny after, after Maroon. Oh. George. Who you say? George Gordon? No, George Washington Gardner. Go George Washington Gardner? Yes. Okay. So he was a wealthy, mixed race Jamaican businessman, uh, a magistrate and a politician, one of two representatives to the asylum from St. Thomas. He was a leading critic of the colonial government and the policies of Jamaican governor Edward Urey, 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 whatever. Okay, and you said Norman? Norman Manley. Okay, so he was a Rhodes Scholar Manley became one of Jamaica's leading lawyers in the 1920s. Manley was an advocate of universal suffrage, which was granted by the British colonial government to the colony in 1944. Okay. Okay, Paul was a Jamaican Baptist deacon and activist. He was a leader of the 1865 Mormon, I think, they protested. Morant Bay. Morande, okay. Morant. Morant, okay. Morant Bay of uh, protesters who marched for justice and fair treatment of all the people in Jamaica. And if you go to Morant Bay in Jamaica, you could see statues right there in the square. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Samuel. Sam Sharp. Okay, an enslaved yes. Jamaican man who was the leader of the widespread 1832. Baptist War Slave Rebellion, also known as the Christmas Rebellion in Jamaica. And in and in St. James, right, that's that's where they named the square out there in Shamshop Square. You can see the statue right there. Each of these Iran Iranis, their statues are in the parishes where they're from. Okay, cool. Okay, Alexander. He was a Jamaican politician and labor leader who in 1962 became the first Prime Minister of Jamaica. I'm pretty sure this was a white man. He founded the, what's this? Why are you saying last name? Bustamante, Bustamante Industrial. Industrial Trade Union following the 1938 labor riots and the Jamaican Labor Party in 1943. And surely we cannot forget about Marcus Garvey Jr., a Jamaican political activist, publisher, journalist, entrepreneur, and orator. He was a founder and first president general of the Universal Negro Empowerment Association and African Communities League. His ideas on black nationalists and pan-Africanists became 
known as Garvinism. Lastly, Nanny, she led a community of um, formerly enslaved Africans called the Windward Maroons. In the, in the early 18th century, they fought a guerrilla war over many years against British authorities in the colony of Jamaica. According to the Maroon legend, Queen Nanny was born in what is today Ghana um, of the Ashanti people. And Nanny of the Maroon, there's a, um, a location in um, the parish of St. Elizabeth where the Maroons, the, um, the Ashanti people, so they call it Maroon Town. And um, every 6th of January, they call it, there's a Kampong town. So every 6th of January, they have their Ashanti ritual. Mm. That's like sometimes they cook their rice, they go down to the graveside. It's the Ashanti ritual from Ghana. Okay. That is a Mary of the Maroon. I want to sing that song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've talked about, you know, the cultural aspects of Jamaica. But I feel like the people in I would like to know like a personal side of like what Jamaica means to you. So if you each can like give maybe your favorite memory of Jamaica so that the people could, you know, get that realism there. Is there anybody would like to go? Jamaica is the land of my birth and I am very proud to be a Jamaican. While I was in Jamaica, I enjoy most like going to school. I'm the the festive time, the pantomimes, the, all the activity that leads up to like our independence. Like I would accredit all my, um, like my drama oh my session to my, my favorite drama teacher at the time. Her name was, um, Roni Duncan, Miss Duncan. She would take us to the pantomimes and she would take us to festival where we participate in like various events with different, um, schools and we would compete. And of course, we were on the winning side. <laughs> Granny, do you have a favorite memory? Jamaica is the land of my birth. And my favorite memory of Jamaica is to go to the river and swim in the water. I go to the river to wash my clothes in clean water. I go to the river to take a swim at times. And my favorite thing is to make dukunu. Okay, let's write to the people what that is. Dukunu is made from the banana. We mix the banana with flour and we wrap it in the banana leaf and cook it down and peel it out of the banana leaf and that we call dukunu or kelly. That's like blue drawers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you guys for joining this video and um, <laughs> we're just gonna end the video um, with you guys teaching the people like a cultural song. So, Growing up, I've heard like this one song. I mean, I've heard multiple songs, but like, this one song that I like, um, if you could just, you know, teach it to the people. I'm pretty sure it's called Linden Market. Does anybody yeah. remember the lyrics? My favorite time too is like, um, we're talking about Jamaican culture. We couldn't end this program without talking about Ring Day. Okay. Because when we were kids, all we know about Ring Day with Miss Lou, uh, Mas Rani. So the thing is ring ding, the Miss Lou. And I can give you a little piece of Miss Lou. Oh my God. Miss Lou poem. He said, No little twang by Louis Bennett. I'm not going to say the old thing, but just a snaps of it. No little twang by Louis Bennett. Never know that. Why me glad to see you come back? But Lord, you let me down. No, I'm gonna take that <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember Miss Lou. I'm gonna record a second video and then you could just like do that and you can have a whole video to yourself for that, okay? Okay. Okay. So do you guys wanna teach them the, the Linden Market song? Which the Linden Market song? Okay, so the chorus, um, Selectors are going to give y'all a selection. Start it up, Granny. Bring me a kick on me. Bring me a kick while I'm still market. Not a quarter was said. Stop it. So, this is a story like a lady went to the market bringing her hockey and her hockey wasn't selling. 
so she penned this song i presume that's what happened and she everybody so this is the song that she bring her produce the aki to the market so aki sell by the dozen and nobody was buying her aki so i presume she penned this song and here are the lyrics to say Carry haki gwal im seed market nada kwati what sell. Carry me haki gwal im seed market nada kwati what sell. Why what a night what a bite what a Saturday night. Why not a bite not a night what a Saturday night. Here we go. Sir. Everybody come feel up feel up nada kwati what sell. Everybody come feel up, feel up, not a quarty what sell. Lord, what a night, what a bite, what a Saturday night. Lord, what a night, not a bite, what a quarty day night. Yay! So, so that means everybody put their hand in our basket, feeling the party, the to the then squeeze up and nothing said because nobody wants riff raff. That's a shame. Okay, so thank you for joining us in today's video. Thank you to our guests we have here. Um, if you guys want to see them again, um, just comment down below. Chanel, bring your family. Okay, something like that. All right, thank you all. And um, the next video, we'll, we'll do your thing in a separate video so people can hear your... I forgot what it's called. Um, all right. Louis Bennett. Yeah, her Louis Bennett. All right, so thank you guys. Bye. Tell them bye. Bye. <laughs> Okay, beautiful.